So, let's just turn the camera slightly, or turn the car slightly, I think. Now we can see what we're looking at. Right, so this is a flooded road. Okay, there were signs back saying road closed, but as you can see, people ignore that and come through because they know best. So take notice of the signs, first of all. Yes, I went through, but because I wanted to show you this. So we've got some gauges on the right and left there, some water gauges. So I'll zoom in in a minute, but you've got one on the right that says one, one and a half, and you've got the M above, which is meters. And then on the left, you've got three, can't see two. So we know that's two and a half feet deep because it's just below the, the half mark. So let's see if we can zoom into that. Wrong way, you wally. I don't know if that's going to come out, but basically that's two and a half feet deep, that water, um, or about three quarters of a metre if you're old, old school. Okay, so that's deep. You don't want to be going through there. We're just going to wait to see if anyone actually does go through there. Um, cars come up behind now. Two more cars have come up behind. So we'll see what they do. Again, ignoring the signs. Mate is going to go for all his four-wheel drive. So this should be interesting. It's still deep. Let's see what happens. It's going through slowly. We're not that slowly. You can see it's how deep it is. We might just get away with that in a four-wheel drive. I don't know. Well, I'd like to try it. It's right up to the doors. And also it causes a wash. We'll see if the car behind decides to go for it. So I'm just going to sit here for a bit and film and see what happens. The right, car behind's going for it. No, it's going to turn around. With all these people here, there's four or five cars behind me now. This one up ahead is coming through. Even though we can see the sign up there says um, road closed, it's turned around now. So basically take notice of the signs. The signs are there to help you and tell you what you should and shouldn't do.